Hello and welcome to this new episode of Continuum Gaming, this time around in English, as you may already have noticed. And today we are going to have a look at three different games again, which will be 101 Block Legend, uh, Teppy Toaster and Rocket Race. My name is Gerald and as always I've got a couple of different things with me which are going to help me with uh, interacting with the smartphone in this case. And uh, that is of course uh, Arc Mouse, like this. Um, it's going to be the follow keyboard again, which is this one. And of course uh, the smartphone itself, which we are coming uh, to later on. But in this episode there is an Xbox One as a wireless controller involved too, because we can play one of the games with it. And we will use it because it's a fun experience to do that. Yeah, and of course all of this is powered by the smartphone, which is the Numina 50 XL. Um, it's a Continuum Gaming or Continuum Enabled Smartphone by Microsoft. Um, Windows 10 Mobile is installed on it. And like that, I can, for instance, use a USB C connector at the bottom here to connect a USB C cable with it and bring it to the big screen using this little box at the side, which is a, a display dock in this case. And the display dock itself is connected to the TV by an HDMI cable in this case. And like this, we can use as a big screen with this desktop -like uh, the desktop-like experience from the smartphone as more or less a power unit here. Yeah, and so let's have a look at the first game. Oh, uh, before I, I continue, of course, if you have any other kind of questions about that or want to know more about that, please have a look at the corner up there. And other than that, let's start with the first game. And the first game is 1010 Black, uh, Block Legend. And um, yeah, it's a little puzzle game more or less. It's, yeah, first off you think it's like Tetris or something, but it's not. And um, it's really a, a puzzle game and uh, some people might want to play it, some people might not want to play it. I'm more tending to be one of the, of the later, uh, later year because, um, yeah, it, it doesn't really have any kind of aim or target to it, as I see it, I don't know. But uh, I can see why people want to play it, so um, I will just st start it here from my all apps list in this case. And um, yeah, what this game is all about is really, uh, you have to place different, different parts, like in a puzzle game or something. So you just use, uh, use really parts and try to, to put them on different places here. Um, there is a little bit of, of uh, advertisement involved, but that doesn't, that doesn't really matter. There are two different options to play this with classic or advanced mode. Advanced mode has a couple of different uh, other options, like for instance, there are parts like you can explode stuff, you can buy, for instance, uh, that all the blocks will fall down and stuff like that. Um, I think I will show you the advanced mode, the classic mode is more or less the same, but it's a little bit yeah, more plain, whatever. And so we are going to play the advanced mode. First off, let's have a look at the options here. There's not too much to it, you can just uh, more or less go to sleep, so this, this means uh, close the app. You can, for instance, have a look and uh, try to mute the game, and of course you can have a look at the credits, so who created this. And that is more or less all to it. So um, there are a couple of different other things. For instance, you can uh, can uh, buy to get rid of app, uh, ads and stuff like that. But let's start with the game by clicking on Advanced in this case. Yeah, and uh, there is no timer limit or something in this game, so you really can take your time, whatever you want to do here. And as you can see, this is a playground, and uh, all you have to do now is you have to uh, put by dragging and dropping this um, this elements around those little puzzle parts, whatever you want to call that, um, around and put them in. For each and every one you put in, you get more or less a little bit of a score, as you can see. And uh, what will happen here is that, like in Tetris or something like that, um, if you, for instance, fill one of the lines here, we will do that now, um, then you see you get additional uh, additional score for that or additional points for that and um, you can then, for instance, carry on doing it. And um, yeah, this is more or less what the game is all about. You are trying to get all the different parts here, put them up there and try just to 
really give all of them a home. Um, if you're playing this for a while, and for instance you're not using the, the um, advanced mode, but the classic mode. In the classic mode the difference is, for instance, you don't get those, which are power-ups or helper uh, buttons, and you get only three or four of these parts in this case, and if you can't put all of those into your, your um, play field anymore, because for instance there is a very big one and you don't have enough space to put it there, you lose the game. So in the classic mode there is a quite, quite a bit of a, of a challenge there. After a while you can see there are a lot of those uh, places where you can put stuff. Um, in this advanced mode it, it really takes a very dumb player, if you ask me. Um, to really get stuck very much because um, it's really pretty easy to um, to get everything done here at least it's a start so if you're not playing this for hours or something then it might be harder to do that but as you can see even the biggest parts I get here are not that much trouble for me um, even if I try to be very bad at it it's still not extremely hard to play this game. So um, just try it out if you want to get uh, get rid of some time. This is pretty much a good time waster app, but uh, yeah, if you are up for a challenge or something, you wouldn't play this, I think. Okay, so um, let's have a look at this. You can, for instance, click on this dynamite part here, so you can blow up three, to, uh, three blocks, um, which needs 30 of your dynamite, so I'm not going to do this. Um, but in the end you can, for instance, just do that, click on OK then, and then select which kind of uh, part you, don't, uh, you want to explode here. And the other one is more or less that all the uh, different blocks you see here are falling down to the ground or to the next block that is uh, hindering them from falling to the ground. Um, you can see this here, uh, it costs three, uh, 30 diamonds too. And this is more or less what, uh, what is available in the advanced mode and which wouldn't be available in the classic mode. Yeah, so nothing more to, uh, to talk about here, so let's go to the next game. If you want to waste time, try this one out. If you want to have a very, very challenging game, then you might want to try the next one, which is Tappy Toaster. Tappy Toaster is a classic tap, uh, yeah, something like Flappy Bird or something. So tap to fly, more or less, uh, game and you have to avoid obstacles and this one is that hard that I can't play it very, very easily or very nicely. Um, it is playable using different input devices, for instance your mouse, your finger or your, your keyboard, keyboard with a space bar for instance, um, your mouse of course with the left mouse button and your finger is just the one you have. And um, yes, yeah, so let's have a look. I'm going to put this in. Um, it's called Tappy Toaster because you're not flying with a bird or something, but with a toaster. And it's more or like, less a little bit like a pixel style or whatever. So pretty close to what you are uh, used to with, for instance, Flappy Bird or something. And this is the game. Um, as you can see, there's not much to do here. You just click on Start. Then you get this information. Use one of those to play this game. And now just try to avoid those, I think it's cl they are clouds, I'm not sure why a toaster would, would fear clouds, but it's like that. And as you can see, I am really struggling with this game. So um, it's really, really hard, but I never was good with those uh, tappy games. You might be another, another person for that. As you can see, we have a high score already. Uh, because uh, before that I got to, I think, 3 or something. But as you can see, um, you have a best uh, best value here, that you, or best score, better to say, which you uh, obtained till now, and of course the current one. So just try to get better and better at it by, by um, doing this. The Flappy Bird character is, of course, that you have gravity in this game, and uh, if you are not clicking, you are falling down, and if you click, you are, you are bouncing up, but then gravity kicks in again, and you are going to drop down again. And of course, you can't go out of the, the display itself, so if you, for instance, go over the screen or something, too high at least, then you are going to, uh, to die too, and so you really have to avoid the obstacles, you have to avoid the screen uh, areas at the top and at the bottom at least, 
and you just go on and try to play this. It's of course endless and so just try it out. If you want to uh, to uh, waste a little bit of time, this might be another good candidate. And this one is pretty challenging, so try it out if you want to. Okay, so let's close that down too, and let's go to the last um, game in this lineup in this case, and it's called Rocket Racer. And Rocket Racer is one of the games I really like. It it's it's pretty nicely done, it's it's good to look at, so um, there are nice graphics in there and uh, it can be played with, for instance, the Xbox One as well as controller. It's kind of a racing game, a racing obstacle game. It's a little bit like something, yeah, like in between of, of um, something like a racing game, so maybe Need for Speed or something. And uh, in between of uh, the other contender here is um, something like the, the, those railroad coasters and stuff like that. We will see. Have a look at it um, by yourself. So I click on Rocket Racer. And again, um, I don't have the, X the Xbox One as well as controller active at the moment because it's just shutting down after a while. Um, but if you are going to play this, you should activate this controller again in the game. This is a little workaround which has to be uh, made by when you want to play with the Xbox One's wireless controller, for instance, um, for quite some time now, but it really works. You just activate it the moment the game starts. Wait a little until the so the light is flashing now, wait a little until it's not flashing anymore, and now you can see we have this red border. I'm going to lower the volume a little bit here. You get this red border and now you can really navigate through this by, for instance, just using this, um, this stick and going uh, to the different parts here. Selecting is done with A. And uh, X would be the special, uh, the special part you already have used here. So, or better to say, the special um, ability you want to use here. And um, those are going to be connected while they're playing, of course. And then you can, for instance, fire fire rockets at other parts and or other players and stuff like that. So let's have a look at that. I will turn around for that because otherwise this game is just too fast for me. And like this, we have the Xbox One as well as controller. I will play the, it with this. And you can play it with, it, with the keyboard, for instance, if you don't have a, a controller. And you can play it with your uh, smartphone. Uh, the mouse itself is not used for that. You can, of course, use it in the, in the um, menu here, but you can't use it in the game itself. So if you are only connected with the mouse, this game is nothing for you. Okay, so let's have a look at the options here. Let's see what's going on here. There's not too much to see here. We have, of course, a bit of the ability to uh, shut down or, or mute, for instance, the game um, with sound or with audio um, itself. So you can really um, say what you want to uh, shut down here. And there is the option to clear the current um, the current play state. So if you want to start again from the start. And of course you can have a look at the tutorial, we will not do that, it's really pretty simple to understand. And uh, yeah, there's not much more to see here, so go to start. Now you can, for instance, um, go to race of course, or you can update uh, parts. From time to time you will get some kind of a, of an advertisement. In general it's fast to be click, clicked away. For that you might need your mouse, it depends. And after that, um, you can, for instance, watch a video for free coins, for instance, uh, with coins you can upgrade items and, and get better and stuff like that. So let's have a look at that. There are, for instance, some of the, of the special abilities, like a super master missile, a multi-missile, a seeker missile and a missile itself, and you can just upgrade them with coins. You see, I have, for instance, 1,189 coins, sorry, it's not that way around, and um, then you can just upgrade them, uh, for instance, like, I don't know, using this, now I bought this, now of course I have lower uh, lower coin abilities, a, a lower coin amount here, and like this, this is possible, and there is a second page, if we go down there, 
we can, for instance, get invisibility, invincibility, so we are not going to be uh, affected by some of the other missiles or something that are fired uh, at us. Uh, hyper barrier is a shield, more or less, and stuff like that. So, uh, whatever you want to get here, get it, and after that, just click on Waste. And now you can, um, can select between one of two players at the moment, so the fox itself and the girl are available for you. Um, as you can see, they have different uh, options here. So, so Fox, for instance, is good, is average good at everything. And if you, for instance, want to have more grip or something, then you can uh, get Shana, uh, which will have a, less, a lower speed limit here, but a higher grip and stuff like that. And that's all. Those two players are available. There are more which are going to play against you, which are these little robots here. But those two are the ones you can use. And if you are happy with your selection, just select it. And now you can see we have different cups here. So um, it's not like only these, but you can play in mountains, you can play in cities and stuff like that. Um, I am at the beach cup at the moment, so we are going to play this. And after that you will see there are a couple of different levels in this beach cup. The first ones are really, really extremely easy to win. And after a while you can see it's going to be harder to do. For instance, as you can see, I'm at level 5 at the moment, um, and yeah, there are more or less the same tracks all around, but you get different obstacles, you get uh, harder enemies, for instance, or competing, competing players here, and um, yeah, it's more challenging the lower you get, of course. So I'm going to click on that, and if you are happy with that, just reselect it or go to the bar, uh, to the to the little icon at the right. It doesn't matter. And um, after that, we are going to try it. Okay, start with A. A will power up your um, player here, and as you can see, there are different obstacles in the way. We have to avoid them, and we should not get in the way of those obstacles. If you do, it's not really important. As you can see, you are not going to die or something, but you are going to slow down. And as mentioned before, it's pretty easy, at the start at least, to get the first place. But if, for instance, you would have uh, yeah, more or less run into one or two more of those obstacles, obstacles, then it might be a problem. Yeah, and after that, just go to the next part and try to get the next things. As you can see there, the graphics are pretty, pretty nicely done. And if you, for instance, hit one of the other players from the side, it might help. If you are hitting him from the back, then you are going to be dropped, uh, dropped behind. And to fire the extra missile, you see the super missile is available, you can do that by just had I got the player before us. Um, you can just do that by clicking X in this case. And now just try to collect, for instance, those, uh, those question marks, which will help you, which are the, the special abilities, of course. And um, yeah, I got second place in this case, which is fine and all. And now you just go on and on and on and play this on and on and on. Um, it's always... A, Pretty, pretty um, nice game itself. It's very, very short. To, uh, how long you are going to drive around? So, if you make a lot of mistakes, for instance, like this one, um, you might seek a missile. Good one. Um, you might, of course, fall behind if you do a lot of mistakes this is a good time around I'm going to be place four probably yeah it's not the best around for me um, with a you are of course accelerating your your missile you are on um, if you don't uh, click that you're not going to win and uh, with X as mentioned before you are you are activating the special ability and now just try to play it it's pretty fun for some time after a while it's get, it's getting a little bit annoying. Um, if you don't get to the highest dates here, of course, if you don't uh, reach at least the, the third place, you're not going to be allowed to play the next level here, and so just try, out, try it out and play it along. 
playable with the Xbox One Wireless controller or any other gamepad. And um, so it's really pretty nice to play this game. Yeah. So, and this more or less ends the episode for now. I hope you had fun with it. I hope you had one or two games which, uh, which uh, you would like to play or try out. Um, if so, please let me know in the comments below, for instance. And uh, of course, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, I think the other button is working too. And um, yeah, other than that, if you are not subscribed till now, you might want to do that now. So uh, click the subscribe button uh, down below and you might want to click the bell button to be informed if there are new uh, videos available for me. And other than that, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, have a nice day, we will see us in the next week, so around Saturday, Sunday there is always the uploading time, and other than that, thank you for watching, thank you for listening, have a nice day, and bye. Bye!